So one of the things that we really focus on here with clients is behaviour change. Because anyone can turn up to an appointment and train, but if we can't change your behaviour, the behaviour of the person during the week when they're not with us, we're not going to get results. Um, so the only way to really do that is to make sure that we've got our clients have got goals that actually not only are specific, and, but also motivate them and inspire them to want to change their behaviour. And in doing that, we really look for the why. why what is it in your life that's going to make you want to change? For me, it was just to maintain a, a good a level of fitness and um, a health in my, you know, old age. <laughs> yeah, look, I, th I think the why factor, why look at your fitness and everything else, um, to be honest with you, getting a bit older uh, and things like that. So I have noticed that um, metabolism has slowed down a bit. So we really want to keep on top of that. Um, we're already married, so that's... Uh, Fix that box, so I don't have to worry about that. But uh, as far as yeah, that's concerned, it's more just um, keeping on top of our fitness, and uh, you know, I just really want to focus on me, I suppose. Um, my motivation is uh, a few years ago I was diagnosed with breast cancer, and um, on the road to recovery, my body took a real beating. Um, a few years ago, I couldn't even walk upstairs. Um, personally, I didn't want the disease to define me. Um, so I looked to find somewhere to go that I can improve my health. The medication I'm on also, one of the side effects is I have a lot of pain in the legs and I found being able to talk to your trainer on to one, a one-to-one -one and for them to be knowledgeable in terms of what is going on with your body, I find that here they're tailoring a program to fit my needs. It's not me trying to fit in to whatever the trainer is doing. So. I'm now able to run up and down stairs um, and I feel, I feel an, instant, like an instant improvement and gratification. So it's been amazing for me personally, for my health. Um, myself, um, the reason why I got into the fitness industry and fitness is such a big part of my life is because when I was around 18, my, my father had a heart attack. And you know, I see my 50 year old dad have a heart attack. So suddenly in my genes, I know that my granddad's died of a stroke and my dad's have a heart attack. So the writing's on the wall for me if I don't look after myself. Um, on the same day he had his heart attack, when I went back to work that day, I discovered that a, an 18 year old friend of mine, who I had been with that morning, had actually died of a heart attack that day playing ice hockey. And it really just rung home that, you know, you've got to look after yourself and you've got to stay, not, not necessarily fit in the sense of fit, but you've got to stay healthy. And that's why we really focus on health here rather than just fitness.